<laughs> so, what's up, my dudes and dudes? I'm back, and I'm alive, and I'm and I'm better than I ever was. But yeah, two days ago I finished the hiking club meetup. The hike, we hiked about more than ten k, and then we swam in the sea. And yeah, and then all the other day we also hiked, so it was pretty challenging, pretty hard, but you know what David Bowie says, stay hard, motherfucker, but yeah, but yeah, yesterday was one day after it, I got a lot of sleep, uh, like more than 10 hours of sleep, napped in between, played the played guitar, yeah. And after that, I went to gym behind gym money. Did some back, back as I usually for started very throws. Uh, there is this machine in my gym, the gym row machine. If you were probably saw, I do that with both arms, just squeezing, focusing on squeezing. And after that, I did lat, lat pull downs. And after that, I did for the lats and then. The, bent over lat over load or something like that and today was sh shoulders yeah shoulders shoulders I wanted to, wanted to do arms but yesterday was back day I warmed up a little bit of arms so wasn't ready to like stay that leap and do arms also now today especially when I have done them Yesterday, I just didn't want to get cramps or anything like that. And yeah, without further ado, let's take out the pump cover and let's see what we are working with shoulder wise. So, shoulders. Shoulders are. If I put all my lats and my arms, you can. Maybe see, I don't know if you can see because you are kind of, you are not straight enough, maybe to see. I don't mean like sexually straight, but I mean like the phone isn't straight enough, so you could see like this gap. There is my biceps and triceps and there is this little mountain of muscle. Yes, yes, I also did traps. And a little bit of triceps. Triceps was hit yesterday. A little bit of biceps and also my calves have worked a little bit of a pump from the height and yeah what there is for me like the most muscular I have like for the pump check mm. you know me the bro doing these but you know maybe me and the bros are on something like so you just is something for for the shoulders I like so. I like that after these uh, these hiking group meetups, I also have like sh this like pumped up body all over. Like even my quads are like pretty pumped up. Like my gosh. Mike Manser and Frankie Super <laughs> Super Like 
I am not small enough to do these poses, but something like that or something. You know, I am just, if you're wondering why I'm also doing like these and these poses, it's, it's because I have this problem with, with, I'm not holding my poses long enough and wish if you could see my traps when I go like this, you can see my traps pretty clearly. So, that's pretty nice for a natural guy. Help with traps. And you can see I'm still fat. Nothing's changed there. No matter if I have big arms, big chest, or big shoulders, big back, I still have pretty fat in my mid midsection. So I would say that, that, that if you go back to my first ever disc kind of a video in the gym, you can clearly see that I have, I, I have improved in the muscle mass and also with that cut down like, I, I want to say 3 kilos of body fat and put on about 1 kilo of muscle okay, not, not 1 kilo, like half a pound maybe of muscle, maybe pound of muscle and yeah As you can see, like my genetic strong points are my arms, back, shoulders, and traps, but my midsection, like my chest is also pretty big, so that is my strong point. But my my the the part where I fall down is my fucking goddamn stomach, my midsection. What? My, my legs are even pretty big. Maybe it's because I was always always fat or something, but that doesn't really come into equation that much. Like my legs are, I, I know for a fact that this is, this is because of hard work and dedication, but my midsection, I can do like full stack, just crunches and I have abs probably underneath it, but I just store all my fat genetically in my stomach, a little bit of my lower chest and my low handles and yeah with this cut I am trying to cut down to about Arnold off season or or Henry Cavill in, in the Superman in, in that one scene like he takes the clothes that is about my my goal for this cut about 100 kilos not lean but you know for me lean would be like outline of abs and that is pretty possible and actually pretty probable if I if I weigh around 120 kilos just minus 20 kilos minus one plate of body fat it equals like what you could say about Henry Cavill's Superman physique in my in my opinion, but yeah, pump check is all over with, and the most likely outcome is going to be cardio, half an hour, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, of riding 10k on my bike, which helped a lot in this hiking group makeup, because imagine every day for three months just every day 30 minutes 10k on the cardio bike of course it's not like walking as you did hiking but it is still cardio every day in my work i work in a shop i i go around 20k steps a day just alone from walking and then plus like 10k of riding a bike that he equals to decent leg, leg muscle but matureness and experience and all that shaz and what I did today was 
basically the recap can't, can't came to dream did these I could have done these for my back back deltoids but laying down pulling rope doesn't really work for me when, when I'm not alone in the gym when I can't squeeze scream almost because of the pain I better like when I'm not alone these I just feel like I could have more of an intimate feeling with the weights this interaction of bent over flies are the best for me for my back deltoid development and for the side delts the, the, it was just heavy the heavy standing uh, lateral raises and then three sets of seated lighter lightish squeezing lateral raises indeed there is pretty much only two movements basically just one that is based on this just bent over row uh, flies for the back delt and for the side delt it's just lateral raises you cannot you cannot go wrong with any movement that is meant for these muscles just pick two to four and do those in a single workout and you will have big deltoids if you, if you are like me and you like bigger biceps and back delts then i suggest getting a dumbbell set at home with those changeable dumbbells because those are the cheapest every day if not every day then every two days just like two sets of dumbbell and uh, dumbbell bicep curls just you know together because don't do these because when you get fatigued in my in my not professional but experience you can really fuck up your st st stabilizer stabilizer muscles by doing these like squeezing and right now I have tweak my back a little bit like if I do this like you know on this motion my back is tweaking and those are my step st 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 stability muscles just firing saying hey don't do that so I don't do anymore like with single arm I just do like with both arms just you know 10 kilos on each arm and just you know just walking out two sets until absolute failure when you're just squeezing and letting go you know just you know fuck the f fuck your form and then last three reps just you know fuck the way to basically up so basically i don't know how much you saw or or saw or heard from my last video but I, not my last video but my last clip i don't know how far we got because my my iphone is a piece of bitch and it doesn't tell me when it's it is full of of, of storage space is full it doesn't tell me it just cuts off the video and that annoys me so much but i don't know how how far we got but i just wanted to say i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna fix the the storage issue if you, if you didn't get to where I wanted to, maybe, maybe I didn't tell everything I have to tell, but I have to go and do my my cardio right now, and so I don't have really time to chat anyways, but yeah, still a yapaholic, I can see, I don't, I, because I ran out of storage, but yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, bye.